بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شكرا جزيلا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد first of all I I would be able to talk to you either in Urdu or in Arabic but inshallah next time I will be able I will either learn Urdu or you have to learn Arabic inshallah uh, I have to start my uh, talk to my dear friends and sisters in India and our friends all over uh, the Indian uh, subcontinent uh, who are historically supporting our cause, Palestine and Palestinian issue through uh, your uh, very uh, thankful uh, webinar. And I thank you again and again for taking the initiative to organize this uh, webinar and this uh, very precious uh, meeting with these uh, intellectuals uh, and through them to talk to uh, our people there. Oh. So it's better? Yeah, so? it's, yeah, it's okay. better, yes, it's okay. Yes, I hope uh, from the beginning. Uh, anyway, I really appreciate uh, this uh, chance to talk to our uh, friends, brothers and sisters in, uh, in India, and uh, appreciate al Jama'a al Islamiya fil Hind, Indian Jama'a uh, al to uh, arrange or to organize this uh, webinar. But I want to uh, use this chance to greatly thank and appreciate millions of people around the world who uh, ex ex express their solidarity with our cause, uh, either uh, through uh, media or social media, through parliaments, and uh, millions of people who went to streets to raise their voices against the oppression, against the occupation, and to, to shout loudly for justice uh, for Palestine and Palestinians. At the beginning, I have to emphasize a few points. First of all, before talking about some details about the last aggression on Gaza, I have to say that the Palestinian cause is, a, is, not, a, is not only a Palestinian issue. It is the issue of Arabs, Muslims, and all free people around the world. Uh, we have always to remember that uh, Al-Quds and Al-Aqsa Mosque is not only a Palestinian property. It is the third holiest shrine in Islam. It is the third holiest place for 1.7 billion Muslims around the world. But not only the, 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 the mosque, but even all the churches in Jerusalem, in Bethlehem, uh, were uh, attacked and humiliated by the Israeli occupation. The Church of Nativity, the, the, the Holy Church of uh, specular, all of these uh, holy places were humiliated. Here I have to raise one very important point. We are insisting on raising these points repeatedly. Well, our struggle is not uh, against, uh, we have against Judaism. Our struggle against the occupation, against Zionism, which is occupying uh, our land. And uh, we have everywhere around the world good Jewish friends. And therefore, we are limiting our struggle to the Zionist entity and to the, uh, to, to the colonial projects on our uh, occupied uh, land. Here, I have to say that uh, we, we, have, we have been visited by hundreds of international media immediately after achieving the ceasefire. And during the escalation, we were... Uh, we were reached out by a lot of international and regional media to ask about the last escalation, why it happened, and why Hamas or the resistance launched rockets into Israel. I have always to insist in, in remembering all people that the, uh, the struggle didn't start by, uh, uh, by the response of the resistance. The struggle, start, by the way, started 70, 73 years ago, uh, when 78% of our historical land was occupied by the Israelis, by the Zionist uh, gangs. Uh, and in 1976, the rest of the historical Palestine were uh, occupied finally. 
including uh, Jerusalem. Uh, therefore, we are struggling for now for the last seven decades against occupation, against oppression, for justice, for freedom, for dignity, and for uh, independence. During this time, uh, we have to remember that of two things, that in 1948 and later on in 1967, hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were forcefully expelled from their homes and villages and cities. And all our city, a lot of our cities have been destroyed and uh, demolished uh, in 1948 and in 1967. But despite of this, uh, Palestinians, represented by their official leadership at that time, PLO, in 1993, they have signed uh, the so-called Oslo Agreement or Oslo Accord. And at that time, by signing that agreement, the Palestinians have sacrificed nearly 78% of their land in order to achieve uh, their independence in a free and independent and sovereign state. What is the result of this uh, uh, useless and nonsense, what so-called negotiations or peaceful ne peace negotiations? After three decades of signing Oslo Agreement and the recognition of the State of Israel, and uh, before 1993, we have had around 80,000 settlers living inside the, West, the occupied West Bank, Gaza, and Jerusalem. Today, we have more than 750,000 uh, extremist settlers living in these occupied territories. Before 1993, we have around a few sporadic settlements inside the occupied territories. Now, we have more than 800 uh, set settlements including big cities with, you can talk about big cities, real cities on our occupied land in 67. What's more, uh, more of the land is annexed, more of our resources are stolen, more of our trees are uprooted, and, and, and you can continue talking about this day and night, about the continuous aggression. Our families were ignited and burned while they are sleeping at home by the uh, Zionist gangs, uh, uh, supported and guarded by the uh, official Israeli police. During this time, at the same time, we have witnessed maybe 80 to 90 international uh, uh, UN resolutions in favor of the Palestinian right, of their independence and freedom and dignity, right of return, uh, and so on and so on. What have been of this implemented? Nothing. Zero. Unfortunately, the international community, mainly the United States, they have dealt with Israel usually as a state above the law. And they have given Israel full impunity to continue violating international law, uh, continuous their aggressions. We have dozens of UN uh, assigned uh, investigation committees and all of these committees came to the same conclusion that Israel is committing war crimes, crimes against humanity, ethnic cleansing, and, and, and. What is the result of this? All this, uh, nothing of this has been imposed. Again, Israel has behaved as a state above the law, unfortunately supported by the United States and some uh, European uh, countries. After, a lot, uh, after this, in 2018, Israel have publicly and officially stated what so-called nation state law, which is considering the whole territories between the river and the sea, which is which means the historical Palestine as a uh, as a as a Jewish property, as a uh, Zionist property, or as an Israeli property, and there is no chance for the Palestinians who are living there on this land to be dealt with as equal citizen or uh, or have the right of a political uh, entity here, I mean a Palestinian state, or have even those who are living in inside Israel itself, Palestinians in 1948 territories, they don't have the right to be dealt with as equal citizen like a Jewish people. It is the full-blown picture of apartheid, racism, uh, oppression, and uh, aggression. Unfortunately, the international community has a very weak 
and in very uh, very weak and impotent reactions to these uh, to these racist laws and they have announced that they are planning now to annex the rest of the west bank or at least 60% of uh, of the land again and again despite all of the attempts of the palestinians to reach an uh, an agreement so that can they uh, the, so, so that they can achieve their independence freedom and dignity sovereignty all these uh, efforts have failed and we have to face always the continuous barbaric racist aggression of the israelis and israel have enjoyed always uh, a full immunity the last escalations started at the beginning of may in or or or, or, or weeks before in, in Al-Quds, in Sheikh, uh, in Sheikh Jarrah, and in Al-Aqsa compound, it was clear that Israel using, that the international community today is busy with other problems, China, Iran, uh, Yemen, uh, Syria, Libya, and somewhere else, uh, and the conflict between China and USA, China and USA and Russia, and that they have, they were able to sign some normalization uh, agreements or treaties with some Arabic countries, UAA, uh, Bahrain, Sudan, uh, Morocco, that it is the best chance to finally to put an end for the Palestinian dreams of an independent capital in Jerusalem, to take over uh, Al-Aqsa compound and uh, fully and to give it for the Jewish uh, settlers, extremists, and to expel the uh, rest of Palestinians who are around 250,000 are living inside Al-Quds, to expel them uh, uh, by any way, forcefully, legally, uh, de facto, to expel them out of the city. Palestinians were aware about the, the seriousness of these steps, that if we allow the Israelis the Zionists to implement these plans, it means we are losing Al Quds and, Jeruz- and Jerusalem uh, uh, once and forever. Therefore, you, we have you have witnessed a resistance from all Palestinians in Al Quds, in uh, 48 territories, in West Bank, and finally the resistance in Gaza have responded to the calls from the people in Jerusalem to help them to support them in their struggle. Uh, to to protect their house, uh, their homes, and to protect their uh, to, to the mosque. Therefore, the story didn't start by the by the resistance or by launching rocket from Gaza. It started uh, weeks, months, and years uh, before by the continuous aggression of the Israelis, by continuous committing war crimes and crimes against humanity, and by the full impunity of Israel uh, enjoyed or given by the international community, mainly uh, by the uh, United States. Therefore, uh, we don't accept the Israeli narrative to talk uh, simply about uh, 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 resistance uh, and armed, uh, and uh, and uh, rocket launched from Gaza. I have always also to remember everyone that we as occupied people, as victims of this occupation and this aggression, we have a guaranteed right in the international law to resist the occupation by all means, including arm resistance. And we are aware about a lot of, uh, of experiences or history of other peoples in Vietnam, in South Africa, in India, in Algeria, in different countries who resisted the occupation by different means. And I have also to remember the people that we didn't resort to armed resistance simply because we are uh, eager to see uh, bloodshed or uh, people killed. We have, tri- we have uh, tried through uh, peace negotiations. We have tried to go to the ICTC court and we have tried to go to, uh, to the National Justice Court in, 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 in Al Had. We have tried to go to, to use BDS as a peaceful tool to express our opinion. All these ways of peaceful, we have resisted peacefully, popularly, 
in uh, the Great March of Retail for two years. Each week, Friday, we went thousands and thousands peacefully. What was the response? Rejection from the international community and uh, continuous aggression from the Israelis and killing of our people. Therefore, we don't accept the, anyone to blame Palestinians when they use what they have of facilities to resist. Again, what happened during the last uh, battle uh, in this uh, aggression? Killing, I give a few figures of the biggest crime. Killing of 265 innocent civilians, Palestinians, 65, 64 of them are children, 40 women, uh, four, 20 elderly, and the, the rest is, are, are in, uh, innocent civilians. Attacking totally more than 2,000 Palestinian civilian homes and partially more than 15,000 homes, schools, health facilities, infrastructure, water networks, sewage network, electricity, uh, internet. They have attacked uh, hundreds of uh, factories, small factories, small firms, uh, companies, and so on. They have not only killed people, they have intentionally tried to destroy the Palestinian life, the social economic life of Palestinian, to cripple it for years after that. And this is the continuous story, 2021, 2021, 2014, 2012, 2008, and so on continuous. You have to remember that Gaza is now under siege for 50, inhuman, suffocating siege for more than 15 years, uh, destroying every aspect of life. We are, we are suffering at all levels in the details of our life. We are uh, crippled. Therefore, when we uh, we, we cannot be the, the nice and smart victims to die in peace and to accept dying in, in, in silence. What we are doing is only to raise our voices against the oppression, to knock the doors of this biggest open air prison. This is the description of a lot of international uh, 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 commissions or uh, committees. We, Gaza is, is, is the one of the most populated area, densely populated area on earth. 2 million people living in 360 kilometers in, in a beach camp alone, refugee camp. You have 80,000 Palestinians living in one half square kilometer. Half square kilometer, 80,000 Palestinians. It is impossible the life here. Therefore, this acute aggression came on the top of a chronic story of occupation, of aggression, of siege, and so on. Therefore, it is, it is not the will of Palestinian. Uh, but it is uh, to 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 uh, uh, to go for for wars or escalation. But it is the response of the Palestinians to continuous aggression, to continuous attacks against our uh, people. And here I have before talking about what is demanded from all our friends around the world, including our brothers and sisters and friends in India. I have to remember that three or four of the high buildings, what so called tower. Al Jala Tower, uh, Al Shurukh Tower, and Al Jawhar Tower, and other small, smaller buildings which have been totally demolished and destroyed, included more than 80 uh, media offices, international and local media offices, without the allegations of the Israelis that in these, of in these buildings are some security offices, uh, offices affiliated to the resistance. They're not able to prove anything, and there is no uh, any security activity in these buildings. And we have talked to the whole world that they can bring us any proof, nothing, zero. But I have to say the main goal was to silence the Palestinian narrative, to stop pictures and photos about the slaughter on Gaza, about the crimes in Gaza, to go out to the people because the Israelis know exactly what kind of damage such photos such videos can cause, can harm the Israeli, the Zionist narrative uh, outside, in, in particular in the United States. Therefore, intentionally, they have attacked journalists and journalism and media offices. Finally, what is requested from everyone? From our side, Palestinians, we will go continue to resist this occupation and this aggression. We are ready to, to sacrifice everything on this way, on, on this road, 
towards freedom and dignity and independence. We know that the birth of one child is very painful. How about the birth of a nation? It, we know that we have to sacrifice. We have to do to pay a lot of prices, very, very high prices. We know this. We have seen it in, in, in Vietnam, in India, in South Africa, everywhere. This is the lesson of, from history. We have to be united uh, politically to go in one united front to the international community calling for uh, dignity and freedom and the independence for Palestinians. But what is requested from others who are outside Palestine? Generally, and in particular now, uh, when it comes to India, while I'm talking uh, to Indian friends and brothers and sisters, first of all, I have to say that we here in Palestine uh, uh, really uh, keeping uh, or having a lot of respect and uh, appreciation for the historical uh, Indian stances in support for the Palestinian cause. And we have learned a lot of them from the Indian history, how to struggle against the occupation how to stand, and we have, in a lot of our demonstrations, we have raised a lot of uh, pictures of Mahatma Gandhi and others, uh, leaders of India, uh, to, to show that we, are, we are understand uh, well the history. And therefore, we are really appreciating the stances, despite, to be honest, we are disappointed and frustrated from the late developments in India uh, and this shift in, in the Indian politics uh, to support the aggressor, to support the, uh, the oppression, even when it is totally against the international law. We are not calling anyone to adopt the narrative of Hamas or the, or the narrative of Jihad Islami, but at least to respect the international law. The international law guarantee us the right of resistance, and including armed resistance. International law guarantee, guaranteed, guarantees us an, uh, an independent sovereign state, and the right of return to uh, to our homes and villages and and cities and guarantee us al uh, quds uh, jerusalem as the capital therefore we are really looking forward to see uh, again uh, shifting back to the historical uh, positions and stances of india in support of our cause and to end this uh, uh, unwavering support for the aggressor uh, here in, in Tel Aviv, and for the unwavering support of uh, of, of the uh, Israeli occupation. But also, we are looking for, first, media. We are suffering a lot as victims to be portrayed always as aggressors. We are the victims of aggression. We have to, right, to the right to, de to, to defend ourselves, and therefore we are looking for our friends and brothers and sisters in India to help us in, 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 in defending the Palestinian narrative, the narrative of justice, the narrative of victims, the narrative of occupied people, and only to reflect the realities on the ground. We don't anyone to fake uh, uh, photos or view footages. No, only reflect the reality on the ground, respect the international law. Uh, therefore, we are looking for active media input from India, uh, mainstream media, social media, and other kinds of media to support the Palestinian uh, narrative, the narrative, the, the narrative of justice, the narrative of uh, victims. Second, we are looking for uh, the support of parliamentarians. Uh, parliamentarians have a great role in, in exercising pressure on the governments to respect the international law, to respect the right of Palestinians of independence, and sovereign state. We, are, we cannot accept anymore any sign of support to, uh, to the operation. We are looking for governmental support from India to our people in different, at the diplomatic level, at the political level. But also finally, we, Palestinians in general, and Gazans in particular, are suffering a lot, and there is a big space for humanitarian support, uh, health, education, infrastructure, municipalities, uh, social affairs, psychological, uh, psycho psychosocial support. I mean, the health uh, impact of the siege is devastating, and the people are in need for health. And I am sure a lot of our Indian friends can support the Palestinian 
the Palestinians, when it comes to this uh, humanitarian uh, humanitarian needs, and you can do it either through international organizations like WHO, uh, UNRWA, UNDB, or like n uh, international NGOs like MAP UK, uh, Islamic Relief, uh, Interpol, uh, and other well-known and well-recognized uh, international uh, organization. I think anyone have to support uh, the victims under this long-standing uh, oppression and aggression. And I have to finalize and to say, we have reached a ceasefire, but ceasefire means stop fighting, stop firing. It doesn't mean stability. It doesn't mean uh, peace. It doesn't mean justice. Therefore, to achieve uh, justice, uh, stability, prosperity, and peace, we have to tackle the roots of all these problems uh, to avoid further escalations. We have to tackle, to end the occupation, to end the siege, to uh, uh, enable Palestinian people to achieve their rights of independence, dignity, and freedom. Otherwise, it is a matter of time to see the next escalation and to uh, watch uh, the, the next slaughter, uh, slaughtering against Gazans or Palestinians in Jerusalem or in Sheikh Jarrah or in other cities, it is only a matter of time if the roots or the, under, the, the, uh, the underneath causes are not handled or dealt with. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And I hope we can meet again in Gaza here face to face, <coughs> Jordan Al-Quds together, uh, inshallah, in a free and independent Palestine.